Gaffer, on the way to Sunderland, obviously you've been to uh, many stadiums in your managerial career. I'm guessing this is going to be up there in terms of uh, standing on that touchline. Well, I've been very privileged, along with Paul Rayner, to attend the Stadium of Light and, and watch games, but never taken a team there. So the venue is stunning. The home support is stunning. It's going to be a tough evening for us, but we're looking forward to it. We've got a terrific group behind us. And everyone's excited. Yeah, in terms of the approach to this game, you won't be any different. You'll be looking at those away performances and victories you've already collected and going there full of confidence. Well, so we've got a great squad of players behind us. We're really um, good when we've been away from home in all areas of the jobs we have to do. Uh, distribution, defensive play, offensive play, uh, willing to, to go that extra mile to win a game. And we've had all of that, so we can't change. We can't change how we're going to play. We may change personnel, but not how we're going to play. And you encouraged, particularly in that last 20 minutes on Saturday, that the lads kept going and probably should have won the game in all truth, and given the chances that were created. Frustrated for 70 and delighted for 25, 26, whatever the referee played. Um, Blackpool missed a big chance on a counter-attack to, to go 3-2, but we missed four or five good opportunities. And, uh, and the goalkeeper said two or three tremendous saves, and he's capable of that because... Blackpool's a decent side, you know, they go away, they're organised, they're a shoot under Terry, they know what they're doing. They haven't conceded a goal till they came to the back stadium. And quite really, we, if we are coming away genuinely happy we are finishing, we'd probably score five or six. So um, we have to go at the stadium of light, which we've done in other times on the road, and produce a result that many around the country don't expect us to get. Like we did at Charlton, like we did at Gillingham, like we did at Plymouth, like we've done every time we've been on the road. In terms of team selection, is you happy with the squad? You got anyone kind of carrying knocks at the moment? No, we're good. Big Taff got a dead leg on Saturday, as did Ivan, but they both trained really well today. Training's been really bright. It's not so on a Tuesday game. There's always there's always bright training performances on a Monday. We've always found that, and we're delighted with what these guys are giving us. You know, win, lose, or draw. I'm proud to lead them. You sit opposite Paul Rayner, Sean the analyst, Mark Tyler. What's the banter like? Well, I never get, you know, I love a biscuit, as everyone can imagine, but I don't get the chance to get one. Um, you know, who's, you know, the, the, the banter is good. We, we, we'll start the, the Porsche guys, Porsche fans or, or uh, guys and girls to, to get the tweets going. Let's have a lookalike competition. Who really is the most lookalike? Is it Paul Rayner? Is it President Trump? Is it Sean the Analyst? And you can provide a picture. And Louis Reed. Um, and we've even got Joe, our own cameraman, and is it Paki? That's the one, yeah. I think he's got pictures of him on his wall. And I'm Peter Czech? Well, I, do, I, do, I think that's gone beyond realms. I think we do go to games and people do say to you, Petra, they call you. And uh, so that's your in-house name. But the banter is good. But come on, Porsche fans, who is the biggest lookalike? Is it Joe the cameraman? Is it Paul Rayner? Or is it Sean the analyst?